Hey everyone, uh, good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Much appreciated. Uh, easy, easy tune. I think if you know a D chord, an A chord, and a G chord, you've got this song down pat. We're going to do um, Ball and Chain by Social Distortion. Keep in mind, uh, this tune, if you're going to play along to that album, that record, whatever you want to call it these days, we're tuned down a half step to E flat. So um, you don't have to tune down, but I'm just saying if, if you want to play to the album, you have to be tuned down a half step. But we're going to do, and again, I'm going to show you, um, even though we're tuned down a half step, I'm just going to call these out as we typically would see them as a D, an A, and a G, right? But typically, um, these are, the pitch will be different, but just for lack of, or for, for sake of uh, keeping it simple, D, A, G. That's it. There's your song right there. Um, so you can either stop the video and be done with it, or if you want to kind of uh, you know, listen to a couple of the other nuances to the tune. So again, it's going to be D, A, and G, back to the D. Now, if you want to just play a regular G, that's cool. I, I think this is one of those Gs that's got the open B string in it. So if you want to play regular G, cool. If not, I'm kind of playing this. This is kind of like a Springsteen G, um, where you've got... You're going to have the first fret, uh, excuse me, first string, third fret, sixth string, third fret, and you can either mute this B string or you can play that second fret there. Um, either way is cool, but if you go... A little bit different, hear that? As opposed to... So that B string kind of makes a difference, so I kind of... You're cool, though, okay? Strumming pattern than I do. Uh, there you go. The only other nuance to this song, and you'll hear it as you're playing along to it, um, when it gets to, so again, the verse and chorus kind of just all go together as far as the tune. So just landing on that G, and let it ring out, ball and chain. There's your tune. Uh, really fun one to play. It's another one of those you know three chord songs that you know once you learn, you put in your toolbox. Um, you can kind of play almost anywhere. It sounds really good. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. More coming, you know, got a lot of things on the, in the pipeline right now. So, but I figured I'd just kind of throw you this easy one here. Enjoy. See you on the next one.